a lot of the Cannibal Corpse signature things are things that happened by accident. We'd hear one thing from one of our favorite bands and then kind of try and imitate it. We'd be imitating it in the wrong way and it might wound up being our style. There's certain things you hear in a cannibal where you don't hear in other bands where like, there's the speed part is there, there's always just a the pounding beat. There has, I call it the, the cannibal groove. It's, it definitely separates them from all other bands. Cannibal with another drummer, it just wouldn't sound like Cannibal at all. The first thing that I would notice was the drums, because, you know, I'm a drummer trying to learn to play, and, yeah, when I heard the Paul stuff, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do this anytime soon. He's got his own style, really, as far as a death metal drummer goes. Not many people can, can play like him. He pretty much invented a new style of drum beat, which is like the bomb blast beat. There was no conscious effort, and it wasn't like, well, this is how I'm going to do it. It was more like, okay, let me sit down literally and go, this is what comes out, and that's the way I played. The way Paul played, it was just kind of on the verge of out of control. Snare on top, and we just went with it, because we didn't know any better, but it worked. I'm listening to, say, Pete Sandoval, and I'm not trying to mimic exactly what he does, but I'm doing my own version. So my version of that kind of a beat was different. I was playing with two kick drums. I didn't understand what was going on, but it sounded like a freight train. It was like freight train sound to it, and I was like, this is sick, how does he do that? He's getting into it, it's like Attacks that drum kit like he's running a race. Frantic, just, oh, yeah. machine gun yeah. fire, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you would survive a whole tour playing that fast. Uh, it's crazy. It's like I'd have a heart attack. The original blast is a one foot blast, you know. It's just, you know, one foot meaning you're only playing on one kick drum and you're playing, you know, the snare kick and, and you know, the, the ride cymbal maybe, and it's a super hyper, hyper beat. For his blast, he'll play the double bass fast, say, um, similar to a fast Dave Lombardo beat where you've got you know, I play my ride and my hi-hat, you know, with my right hand and all that. But when I went to try to do this beat, for some reason, it just felt natural for me to play the snare drum with my right hand and use my left hand on the hi-hat. It was just trying to play so fast that he had to break from tradition just to get like that and just play as fast as he possibly could with his hands and his feet. He hits the the hi-hat and the snare drum at the same time, but does double bass under that. That's how he plays it. Like, if this was a snare drum, hi-hat, he would play it like that. So the snare is getting the power of his right hand, his strong hand. If you play your hi-hat with your left and you snare with your right, you can get more snare hits in, and your arm won't get so tired as if you're doing this. In a drumming sense, that is probably a better approach to it, because if you are playing this way, it's much easier for you to get around the drums, get around the roll, whereas if you're like this, you gotta then cross your hands and then, you know, come out of it. I never looked at myself as being a percussionist. A lot of drummers I look at and a lot of musicians, you know, they're, they're percussionists. They can play, they can read music, they can do, I can't do any of that. I mean, I never learned how to read music. I never took formal lessons or anything like that. He's got a standard setup, you know, three rack toms, floor toms, double bass, no triggers, you know, I use mics on everything. He's only got three cymbals, a ride, and a china on his side. And that's it, just real, you know, stripped down, just has what, what he needs, plays what he needs, doesn't have too much bullshit around him, and, and it fits. Paul's playing totally lends itself to that sound. I don't think that sound would have been the same if it wasn't for his his approach to drumming. It's not too fancy or intricate, but it is, I mean, like, you know, you know it's Cannibal, you know it's Paul. I play Cannibal Corpse-style drums, that's what I do. I don't think I'd want to play in another band or even be able to play in another band. 